Your Superb back with another video, and I just got done checking out episode six of Yellow Jacket season one. And shout outs to them for getting renewed for a second season. That was really dope. And also shout outs to you know this show for also getting some Globe and Globe Golden Globe nominations. That's pretty impressive. And it makes me think, like, how is this season going to end? How is it going to lead into season two? But before I get into this review, hit that like button, subscribe, follow me on Twitter at PerpMinded420. With all that being said, let's hop right into this review. This episode kicks off with Lottie, and we see a lot more of Lottie in this episode. Um, she's always kind of been like this ever since she was a kid, kind of dealing with mental health but also kind of seeing these visions. Shout outs to the people that commented last week and were saying that, you know, she's just schizophrenic. She's probably just seeing things and stuff like that. But I think she's going to be a very important character moving forward. Meanwhile, in present day, you know, Shauna goes to meet up with uh, Thaisa and Natalie at the hotel to pretty much sh uh, to see what's going on over there and she's starting to get kind of worried now because she she didn't get one of those postcards so it definitely is misty just messing with uh natalie and it seems to be uh messing with taisa at the same time but this is definitely kind of throwing Shauna off because she cheated on Jeff and throughout this whole entire episode they kind of really focus on their relationship and they have to go see Jackie's parents I'm not sure if it was her birthday or it was just a special occasion but we'll get into all that because that that was really fascinating that whole kind of sit down and just um Shauna kind of reflecting on her relationship with Jackie and how that's been kind of haunting her speaking of which you know younger shauna she kind of has this nightmare of her giving birth and it being misty and uh, jackie being there she quickly wakes up and just kind of snaps out of it taisa has her own kind of motives like she wants to kind of go out there and look for help um, this is what she kind of tells Van, but also as she's coming back to the cabin, you know, um, her and Shauna have a conversation and this is where she finds out that Shauna has been kind of going behind Jackie's back with Jeff and why that's going to be so problematic for her. Cause she at this point does not want to have this baby and I don't know how she's going to reveal those secrets to Jackie and how Jackie's going to react to that. I think we're going to definitely get that in this season because they definitely tease so many scenes of the young, young Shauna trying to talk to Jackie. And I feel like one of these t episodes, she's going to reveal the truth. But here, when Jeff and Shauna go to meet up with Jackie's parents, um, for some odd reason, you know, Jeff ends up pretty much spilling the beans. Like, yeah, me and Shauna hooked up, you know, while I was dating Jackie and stuff like that. Really weird time to kind of drop that. At the same time, Adam's just blowing up Shauna's phone. And you, you definitely see that Shauna kind of regret and probably regrets, you know, cheating on Jeff. But at the same time, um, she still feels like he is cheating on her i don't know if she still feels like that i don't know let me know how you guys feel about that whole entire scene as a whole now going back to the past where we see travis and natalie's relationship start to really blossom in this episode to the point where they're almost about to have sex but they're just really just really intimate they come back and of course for some odd reason, Jackie feels some type of way and starts to kind of um, talk shit to Natalie and stuff like that and try to kind of make her feel bad. 
at the same time, you know, you have the coach trying to give Travis the talk like, yo, you can't get uh, Natalie pregnant. You might want to just strap up, bro. And he had mad condoms. I, I really think the, the coach is low-key a creep, though. I don't know if he was going to, um, you know, use those condoms to, like, pretty much to hit on the other, like, uh, the other moms or some shit like that. I don't know. Anyways, that was interesting that, you know, um, the coach pretty much stepped in and said, you know, you got to be more responsible and stuff. And a lot of kids don't got that nowadays. And they're just, you know, I don't know. Let me know how you guys feel about that scene. But, you know, we also get a scene of them almost having sex, but then kind of stopping. We get more information that, you know, Travis is a virgin. And for some odd reason, he decides to ask natalie what her body count is and i'm just i feel like that was a real mood killer <laughs> but she kind of you know she she didn't kind of take it some type of way which i give natalie credits for that because like most girls would be like completely turned off by that and just she was but then you know she kind of quickly got over it and so now simone is not really feeling Taisa right now because she felt like she was going to drop out but ended up continuing the race and they want to go to counseling and stuff for Sam for Sammy and Taisa is completely out of it but now we got a little bit more detail on what Sam was talking about as he was talking about the woman in the window just wait we'll get there on the other side of things, you have Natalie, you know, trying to come up with this money because, you know, there's her and Taisa are still getting blackmailed from who they don't know, but they want five K, uh, 50 K or something like that. So um, I think this guy's name is Eddie. Correct me if I'm wrong. You know, they're trying to kind of rekindle things and whatnot, even to the point where this dude brings Natalie to her son's game. And obviously he's kind of divorced or separated or whatever. Um, I, I do like that Natalie kind of gave the son some uh, pointers because she was also a soccer player. So it only made sense. So I don't know where that's going to go or where that's heading. Let me know how you guys feel about that in the comments below. And oh boy, this is where things get really interesting as Lottie wakes up randomly in the middle of the night. Talk about young Lottie. And she starts to walk and wander into the woods. She sees Thaisa there eating dirt. And I feel like that's tied into what Sam saw. And we'll get into that. So she kind of has this revelation and feels like she needs to um, look for God. You know, she goes to Laura Lee. I'm pretty sure that's her name. Um, and asks can you help me and this is where it leads to her baptism and that shot that whole scene was really dope i think that was my favorite part of just lottie kind of just going through uh this vision um on, on the other side thais is trying to look for um shauna because she wants to kind of do this kind of self-abortion type thing it was really dark and it was really sad that was a really sad moment of this episode as well but the whole stuff with lottie i think was the real highlight for me in this episode now of course i had to talk about misty because every week it's always i always look forward to seeing what crazy shenanigans that misty is up to so in the beginning of this episode she was like stockpiling pills and we find out exactly what she's doing she pretty much kidnaps the reporter jessica and we don't know what she's gonna do with jessica and i'm looking forward to that now tensions are really rising you know we're starting to see you know um everybody kind of be on edge because travis and uh natalie come back with some food they come back with a deer but it's filled with just maggots and stuff so 
and it was just like Lottie uh, kind of saw in her vision with the whole deer um, shedding its antlers and stuff. So I'm wondering how this is all going to kind of just play up until the season finale. Because with them having a season two, they're really going to stretch uh, what's going on in the wilderness. Like what went on in those 16 months or 19 months. Excuse me. Uh, so, yeah, it's it's really dope. And they end it off with, you know, Taisa eating dirt or just biting her hand. And this is the thing that I think that Sam saw in his window where he talks about the bad one and it was actually Taisa the whole time. And I don't know if somebody called that, but if you did, shout outs to you. Really solid episode. Uh, let me know how you guys feel about it. Did I miss anything? Let me know in the comments below. But until next time, I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.